Good morning, everybody. It's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards, and I am coming on to share some tags that I made this weekend. Um, I'm not sure when I'll get this video posted, but um, I wanted to share these tags with you. So this is a die from Cherry Lynn Designs, and it is called Bell Shaker Die. There's the dimensions and information. And I've had this die since I think last Christmas, but I didn't get a chance to use it. And um, so I'm going to share some tags that I created with that. And to create the tags, I also use this Friendship Jar Spring Fillers stamp set. And specifically, I use these tiny tags here. This one says For You, but there's a bunch of different ones. I use the For You um, for these gift tags. And I used uh, these dies from Paper Tray Ink. This is their tiny tag die set. Um, there's also uh, Tailored Expressions also carries um, tiny tag dies. So th that's what these ones are here. These ones are from a retired company that no longer exists. So anyway, um, I like to have uh, lots of tiny tags cut up because I do use them a lot at Christmas time when, or whenever I'm making tags. Um, so to make the tags that I'm going to show you, I went on to the LR... Uh, actually to pokadoodles.co.uk to order some digital images. And I specifically, for the tags I'm going to show today, I used uh, a digital download called Baked with Love, digital sheet number two. Okay, and it's a digital craft download. And then I also purchased Winnie's White Christmas Big Kahuna download kit. They uh, recently had a big sale at Pokadoodles. If you follow Pokadoodles at all, um, they had a 25% off sale, uh, I think it was last week or the week before, I forget. Anyway, I have been looking and watching um, some different videos where people demonstrate polka doodles, and uh, I, I will link a video below specifically, but um, I've always loved their images. I've seen, I think, Anna, who's Serenity Creations. Hi, Anna. I've seen her use them. I've seen different people use them for different little projects and tags and just to to add to Happy Mail and stuff. And at Christmas time, um, you know, I'm always pushed for time trying to get tags made. And I thought this might be a fun way to just use an image without having to color it. Um, I like to do both, but um, from a production standpoint, I can make more tags if I don't have to color on top of die cutting and creating the tag itself. So this year I purchased this set and the, the image that I'm gonna show you today that I used is this little tag right here. And I didn't use it in a tag shape, I just used the middle portion and the image. So um, again, these are copyrighted images from pokadoodles.co in the UK. But I'll show you, this is the sheet. I don't know if my camera is up high enough for you to see the whole sheet. Let me see if I can back up a little bit. Um, so this is one of the printouts that I used. Okay, and this is the one that's called Baked with Love. And uh, again, I use this specific image, but all of the images are adorable. And these are great just for little tags for a gift. Um, and then I just printed out a few things from the Big Kahuna kit so you could see. One of the things you can print out are just these uh, circle images, and look at how cute that polar bear is. Um, every single one of these is just adorable. So, but what's neat about this is you can just punch the circle, um, you know, get a, a circle punch and just punch these out, and then add them to like a giant snowflake die cut or whatever you might have um, on hand to make a really cute tag. So this is just one of the printables. And um, I just thought I would kind of show you what's, in the kit, you can also, there's also images that have like snowy backgrounds and you can size these to any size. I have them sized fairly small here for Christmas tags, but this is a really cute image of this little girl and she's eating a gingerbread and a carrot. Isn't that adorable? So um, that's one of the images. Here you can see where I've sized the circles a little bit smaller. So I printed them um, in a different way so that they would be uh, smaller than a one inch punch. Um, and then here's like some of the printables that come in the kit. Uh, this cute snow uh, polar bear scene. So sweet in front of us, the snowy trees that have been decorated. So just, these are really neat. Um, I'm trying to get the whole sheet in so you can see it. But there's just lots of little things that you can cut out and uh, 
you know, if you if you don't have a die cutting machine or can't afford dies, this is a really easy to just purchase a, a printable and then you just use your scissors to cut out and you can create a wonderful card um, or some really sweet Christmas tags fairly easily. So, um, and again, uh, this is, I think her name is Nikki. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and uh, she's the artist and uh, I, I love, um, you know, I try, I like to know that when I, I'm using an image that it's a purchased image that the artist is getting credit for. Um, I try to be very careful about where I purchase my crafting supplies and I like to know that the person who made it, um, you know, was compensated for their art. Um, so especially in this day and age when there's so many people uh, stealing art from different companies um, and you reproducing it um, without having permission. So. Um, polka doodles uh, you order from their website and you you know that you're getting uh, an image with you know that's directly from the artist that created it so that's really fun so here's just a few more of the the items um, that come in that big kahuna kit that's called Winnie White Christmas big kahuna download kit so this is just a nice background with holly and it says December on it. So these would also be fun to use in your planners, your December daily. You know, look at this adorable snowman. So really fun. You, I mean, you could just take your paper trimmer and trim this out or you could fussy cut it if you wanted to. So lots of fun images. Here's one where, you know, she has the images where you can just, they're pre-colored and you can just cut them. The Big Kahuna Kid always also comes with them uncolored if you want to color them yourself. So this kit has a ton of stuff in it. And uh, I was looking at individual downloads and then based on the sale and just the fact that I like so many of the images, I decided to get the kit because I know it's something I'll use for years and years to come. So anyway, um, I printed out a bunch of these and I thought these would be really cute on a bookmark to give with a book at Christmas. So um, lots of um, ideas on how you could use these fairly easily to create a, you know, kind of a gift within a gift. Give them a book, but give them a bookmark with it. So um, that's the information on the printables you're going to see on these tags. And uh, let me just lift the tags over here for a second. And uh, <clears throat> then I also have some other things to share. So, uh, so these are the Shaker Bell tags that I created. And I'll try and get them all in frame here so you can see them while I show the individual ones. So this first one uses that sweet little gingerbread image where she's baking and she has a little bowl with a heart on it and a little wooden spoon and her chef hat on. And you can see where I use that, that little tag that says for you. Okay, I added one of the candy canes from Hobby Lobby. This is just some vintage thread from the thrift store. Um, or vintage uh, crochet thread. Um, this is some uh, just uh, velvet ribbon. Um, and then these are some uh, jingle bells that are rusty jingle bells that I got at Factory Direct Craft years ago. Um, and then this little holly is from Hobby Lobby. And I, I really hope the big box stores come out with some pink holly and some mint green holly with pink gems or white gems or something, uh, or pink and green gems, depending on what they do. I die cut holly sometimes from felt, but it would be fun to have stickers that are ready-made just to um, make crafting a little bit quicker at Christmas time. So uh, I do use a lot of these green um, and red holly stickers when I'm doing Christmas tags. So that's the first one. And then here's one where I used glitter paper and, uh, you know, Happy Mail Queen Hi Armin and uh, Erica Scrap Diva 29. So many of you use uh, beautiful different glitter papers and holographic papers. And um, I don't have a lot of that in my crafting arsenal, but I saw this paper. This is an actual glitter paper on Amazon and it's a thin paper. It doesn't, the glitter doesn't come off, which I really like. And it die cuts like a dream because it's paper, it's not cardstock. So I ordered some of this and then I just die cut it and glued it to um, the foam that I used to make the shaker with. And uh, I used that Wandy craft foam that Erica recommends. 
Um, I had some three millimeter from my Hobby Lobby for a long time and then I couldn't get it anymore. Um, so I was really good when she, glad when uh, she showed a source where you could get it because I had gone back to just using the foam uh, lines. <laughs> and this is a lot quicker, especially for tag production. So thanks, Erica, for showing that. And whoever else showed it, I appreciate it because I did place an order and get it for Christmas tags. Um, and then you can see the sweet little image in here. Um, she's holding presents. And I don't think I printed this one to show you guys, but um, this is one of my favorite ones where she's holding a pile of gifts. And, uh, and then I just used some shaker. The shaker bits are just some vintage sequins that I got from, I think from Elise and Laura both sent me some, I'm not sure. Um, and then some little turquoise flower ones from uh, Paper Sweeties. I love their flower sequins. So that's what's in there. And then some little snowflakes from Target's Christmas spot, I think a couple of years ago. So there's that one in silver. And I made two of those. So the only difference is I used brown ink on the For You on this one. So um, those are pretty much identical. Um, and then this one here, <clears throat> is of course my my favorite uh, red and white gingham for Christmas and again it has this sweet little image can you see the little gingerbread cookie on her table she has a carrot and a gingerbread cookie isn't that sweet I, I hope you can see it it's so tiny it's so tiny and cute anyway um, just adorable imaging imaging on these Oops, I'm a little too close uh, so this one um, turned out really cute with the gingham, and then this one's plain on the back. Some of them have, uh, I think some of them I put cardstock on the back that's uh, gingham on the back. Oh my gosh, I can't talk, you guys. So, and then there's this one here, which is a pink and kind of almost a cherry red uh, gingham, and it has this same image in it. And it says for you, and this one uses the star tag. I used some foil jingle bells that I had in my stash from last year. These ones are in green. I used the holly and then a little green gem. So these are just really sweet. Oh, the back of this one got dirty. I'm going to have to put another tag on there um, to fix it up. So uh, anyway, these turned out really cute. So um, I'm really happy with this die set and uh, with these images and then this little tag is just the inside I hate to waste anything this is the the inside of the die cut and I just kind of thought it looked like a bell too so I played around with just uh, one of them uh, trying to see if I could make it look cute for a Christmas tag so that's what this one looks like and uh, let me know what you think of that do you think that looks like a bell um, obviously the shaker one is way more fun, but I was thinking I could almost put like just a little round circle image on here. Um, it'd be really tiny, but it could say Merry Christmas or something. So anyway, those are my little tags and I want to thank you guys for taking a look. I do have one other thing to share. I have a Christmas card that I made for my dad. Um, let me pull this out. This is what the card looks like and it says happy birthday to you, dad. And then on the inside, it has another happy birthday. And I'll show you the products I used to create the card. Um, I used this stamp set from Lil Inker Designs, and this is their tea stamp set. And it has a tea bag, um, the saucer, and the cup. I know that's upside down, but you get the gist. And then this is where I got that dad stamp from. And I just love all the sentiments in this tea one. I need to use this set more and make a bunch of um, cards just to have on hand. So I hope to do that soon. Um, I always have all so many ideas and not enough time is my problem, and I guess that's probably the way most of us are. This is the paper pad I use. This is from Maha Designs, and I just, this is the sweetest paper pad. I love their papers. Um, this one has berries in it. It has just all sorts of calico prints or flowers, some that look like um, twall prints. Uh, so very, very pretty, and I just love the color range in here. Lots of nice colors for, for different seasons and stuff. So I use that. Um, the inside of the card has this happy birthday sentiment. This is the cat's pajamas. Alma de la Rosa is the designer. 
um, of this set, and I just love how she designed this. And this comes with a coordinating die um, that you can purchase that cuts out these in a banner shape. So, and I have the die. Do I have the die in here? Yeah. So it comes, you, you can purchase this. And I didn't use the banner today. I could have, but I didn't because I was putting this on the inside of my card. Um, but this would be a fun way to do a card is to have this as the banner and just have a cute image from the cat's pajamas, one of their little bunnies or kitties or something. So, um, so I used that and, uh, those are the products that made up this sweet card. So, um, that is everything I have to share with you today, you guys, these sweet tags and, uh, and the card. So I just love how these turned out. I want to thank Nikki. I think her name is Nikki Hall. If I'm getting that wrong, I apologize. But Nikki's the Polka Doodles artist who creates all of these beautiful images. So thank you, Nikki, for making art that's so much fun to play with. And uh, I hope you guys all have a good week. It's Monday. I am taking my dad out for his birthday today. So um, I have the day to, to just enjoy myself. So everybody have a wonderful week and I will be back with you very soon with, um, another video. Okay. Bye now.